This delicious keto cereal contains cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg, nuts, seeds and coconut. Nuts and seeds are high in healthy fats, hence why they're part of the keto diet. Regular breakfast foods are notoriously high in carbs. For example, porridge oats contain 54 grams of carbs per 100 grams, so oats are on the banned list of keto foods. If you look on the back of many types of cereals and mueslis, you'll see that carb content is often around 65 grams of carbs per 100 grams. Some people prefer toasted cereal, so you can toast this at 160 degrees Celsius for around 10 or 15 minutes until it reaches your preferred amount of toasting, but I'm not going to toast mine in this video. Walnuts are high fat, low carb and vitamin rich, so they're great for keto. Walnuts contain 15 grams of protein and 14 grams of carbs per 100 grams. I've used almost two cups of walnuts. Note that the walnuts are much cheaper if you buy them with the shells on and then crack the shells yourself. I cracked all of these walnuts, which is why they're not in packaging like the other items. Next I'm adding sunflower seeds. This packet says it's three quarters of a cup, which is 100 grams of sunflower seeds. I tipped the whole packet into my keto cereal. Sunflower seeds contain 20 grams of carbs per 100 grams. Now I'm going for the pumpkin seeds. This packet is half a cup, which is 100 grams. I'm using sliced almonds. This packet is 70 grams, which is two thirds of a cup of sliced almonds. And now for the desiccated coconut flakes. Desiccated means dried, and I've bought two types of dried coconut. One is finely ground, and the other is thread coconut, which is cut into these little threads that are quite pretty. The carb count of dried coconut varies depending on the brand, but 100 grams is often around 83% fat, 13% carbs, and 4% protein. So coconut's high in fat and moderately low in carbs, particularly when you compare it to porridge and regular cereals and mueslis. For this reason, coconut is commonly used as a base in keto breakfast cereals. I've added a generous cup of desiccated coconut flakes and one cup of thread coconut. Next I'm adding peanuts. Peanuts are a legume that's grown for its edible seeds. Nutritionally, they are more similar to nuts, and they're also eaten like nuts. 100 grams of peanuts contains 26 grams of protein and a moderately low 16 grams of carbs, plus 8 grams of fiber and 49 grams of healthy fats, so peanuts are good for keto meals. I've chosen blanched unsalted peanuts and I've added one cup of them, but you can add more if you like because peanuts are very cheap to buy. I added one cup of chia seeds, but I later added a little bit more after I'd stopped the video. Black chia seeds are very high in protein. They have 20 grams of protein per 100 grams and contain only 6 grams of carbs. And they also contain 31 grams of total fat. So they're quite high in fat, but low in carbs. I'm adding half a cup of linseeds. These are also known as flax seeds, and they're rich in essential fatty acids, omega-6 and omega-3. They contain 29 grams of carbs per 100 grams, so they're not low carb, but you don't eat many of these in one sitting, so the small amount that you consume per day makes them a great keto food. Flaxseed does not break ketosis, and they're considered a good high-calorie, low-carb addition to your keto diet. I've added one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, but you can add a little more if you love the smell and flavor of cinnamon. I'm also adding half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Nutmeg has a warm, sweet taste, and it's commonly used in baking to provide a spicy aroma. And now just put the lid on the container and give it a good shake around. As I said earlier, you can tip the mixed up cereal into a baking tray and then toast it if you want. I tipped quite a lot into my bowl here and later realized that this keto cereal is extremely filling because of all the nuts and seeds, so I'd actually normally eat about a third of what I've shown in this video. I'm adding about half a cup of full fat Greek yogurt. Half a cup of yogurt is 8 grams of carbs and about 5 grams of protein. The frozen mixed berries bag contains raspberries, strawberries and blueberries. 
Raspberries and strawberries contain only 5 grams of carbs per 100 grams, so they're considered low-carb, keto-friendly fruits. Blueberries contain 12 grams of carbs per 100 grams, so they have moderate carbs, and they're not a preferred fruit the way raspberries and strawberries are, which are ideal for keto. But I'm only using around one tablespoon of blueberries, so the total carb count is quite low. Another great choice for keto is blackberries, which contain only 4 grams of carbs per 100 grams. So if you're following strict keto, you'd want to choose blackberries and raspberries and strawberries and leave out the blueberries. And that's how to make this delicious, nutritious keto breakfast cereal. Thanks for watching. Bye.